Okay, so to create a domain name, you basically need to pick a company that offers this service, and that's called a registrar. So the registrar of choice for most people is GoDaddy. They offer very inexpensive domain names. They're fairly decent at customer support, and they're fairly quick at connecting things up and getting you up and running in no time. So uh, it's not the best, but for most people, it's the domain name registrar of choice. So basically, there's a couple of uh, points you want to consider when deciding what your domain name is going to be. So number one, I try to keep them keep the names short. Number two, I try to keep them memorable. Number three, I want to try to make sure that the name is fairly easy to say uh, vocally. So like, I try to imagine myself on a telephone telling someone what the domain name is. And then I ask myself, is that a name that's easy to pronounce? Is it uh, phonetically, is it confusing phonetically? Uh, just little things like that. But I try not to make a big deal about it because most people don't really um, type in domain names anymore. But that's just a good benchmark. So the name I've chosen is uh, 3 days to cash system com. And I'm going to go ahead and register. Now, th that name doesn't necessarily pass my test, but like I said, it's not as important. So again, those point, the, the criteria to keep in mind is try to make it short, try to make it memorable, try to make it um, phonetically sound so that when said vocally, it's, it's fairly easy to replicate without much confusion. And if, it's, if the domain name is taken, just keep trying, and there are some really good domain names left. So... Let us go ahead and start. So in this big uh, domain name search box, we're going to type 3 days to cash system.com. Then we'll hit go to see if it's available. Okay, so clearly it's available. Now let's go ahead and um, purchase it. So add and proceed to cart. Now, GoDaddy is going to take you through a series of upsells to try to get more money out of you. Now, there's various reasons you may want to uh, do some upsell, take some of them, like extend the life of your domain name. But ideally, you, I mean, just coming out of the gate, it's okay. And if, if you don't have a lot of money, just go ahead and buy one year of the domain name and I think it's going to cost like 8 or $9. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and just say no thanks. So with domain names, you're going to be paying on a yearly basis to ha to keep your domain name. So I've already set up an account with GoDaddy, but if I didn't, I would fill in all of this information. So I'm going to skip the filling in of the information and just log into my existing account. Okay, so here again, they want by default me to um they want to default me to five years, so I'd basically be paying the price times five. So I'll go ahead and say, no, I want it for one year. I don't want a certified domain name, and I don't want any of these on my site. Now, yeah, so I don't want any of these on my site. So here are some other things I can um, purchase, but I've decided not to. I'm basically going to go all the way down to the bottom and say, no thanks, I'm ready to check out. Okay, so we're right at the place where we're ready to buy, and it looks like we're going to buy it for one year. Um, it's going to cost me $9.99 plus an extra... Um, okay, now here's a little trick to purchasing domain is. names. If you and search in Google for Go, uh, GoDaddy coupon codes, you can usually find a little quick discount. Um, it's, I mean, it is only $10, so it's not a big deal. But I searched in Google, and I found a coupon promo code that basically will reduce the price from ten nineteen to seven dollars and something cents. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be seven sixty nine. So I saved three bucks. So it's worth it if you just do a Google search. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pay. You can pay by credit card. I have a PayPal account on file. I'm going to accept the terms and continue with my checkout.
OK. And all the data is already filled in because I've made a previous order. I'm going to go ahead and place the order, and that should take care of me. Okay, and that's it. Now I've purchased a domain name. No one else can get that domain name, and they've sent me an email verifying the order. And so the next step in the process would be to connect your domain name to a hosting account, which we'll take care of in another video.